would you expect for schools or teachers that implement a unit plan? When teachers individually and teams of teachers in a school collectively plan using the unit planner, there are several predictable uh, benefits that can be observed and, and should be observed. Number one, there should be a clear focus from the beginning of every unit, what our goals are, why they're important, how we'll know that learning has occurred, uh, and a teaching plan that is clear and directed and specifically aiming toward those ends. So clarity on the part of teachers and students about priorities. And you can find that out by asking students, why are you doing what you're doing today? How does it relate to what you did yesterday? How does what you're working on now uh, prepare you for what's coming ahead? Students who are in classrooms where teachers plan using the ideas of the planner can answer those questions. Uh, too often, however, when teachers don't plan this way, students don't know what the long-term goal is, why they're doing what they're doing. They're just dutifully plowing through whatever activities uh, are given to them on that particular lesson. The second benefit that we uh, expect to see is more engaged learning. When students are working with essential questions, exploring essential questions, they are being drawn in intellectually into uncovering the content. We should see students intellectually engaged in classrooms where this kind of planning occurs. Thirdly, we should see evidence of students using their knowledge in meaningful ways. The assessment tasks as one part of stage two call for authentic performance and we should see kids working on meaningful and authentic tasks. Finally, and ultimately, we want to see evidence of improved learning on performance assessments, but also on conventional tests. If students are working toward authentic outcomes, exploring the big ideas of content through essential questions, they're going to better understand the content and the particular skills and knowledge that are a part of it. And so the ultimate goal is improved learning, more engaged learning, uh, and measures both conventional uh, and performance-based should give us that evidence. So how do you think that the unit planner and the curriculum planning for understanding is going to help with schools that are implementing the Australian curriculum? Uh, teachers throughout the country are, are now working to implement the Australian national curriculum. Uh, in the four subject areas that have been presently identified with other subjects to come online uh, in future years. Uh, I happen to think that the Curriculum Planning for Understanding framework is the perfect framework to help teachers work with the Australian curriculum for several reasons. Number one, the Australian curriculum, uh, with all due respect, is misnamed. I don't believe it's a curriculum. I think it is a set of outcomes and worthy outcomes at that. So the job of teachers and the job of schools is to unpack the outcomes in the Australian curriculum and translate it into a teachable curriculum and an accessible curriculum. And that's what the planner and the framework it's built around does. One of the challenges that teachers working with the Australian curriculum face and it's a challenge that educators around the world face when working from standards or outcome documents, is that the Australian curriculum presents an ambitious amount of knowledge and skills to be learned. Particularly when you look at the grade level outcomes, there's a lot of content. And many teachers feel overwhelmed and worried that they can't, quote, cover it all. Well, my contention is the job is not to cover a list of content. The job is to uncover the most important ideas in the content, teach it in a way that students see its meaning and relevance, and give them opportunities to use it in meaningful ways. And that's exactly what the planner calls for. That it helps us to unpack the curriculum by identifying the big ideas that are most worth understanding, the essential questions that are most important to engage with, and to think about the, the performances, the authentic performances that would show that kids really understand and can use this knowledge and these skills. When you look at the opening pages of the Australian curriculum in every subject area, this is what they're after. 
they're not after just memorizing a series of facts or learning decontextualized, isolated skills. They talk about the goal of the Australian curriculum is to equip students to understand and use their knowledge meaningfully. And that's exactly what the planner calls for. So I think it is the perfect tool, the perfect framework to help educators really work with the national curriculum. And if we work smarter, not harder, uh, we'll look for opportunities to share curriculum plans and assessment models across schools throughout the country. And the planner affords that opportunity. So schools that are working on NAPLAN testing today, how does the unit planner and curriculum planning for understanding <coughs> help them. Your question about NAPLAN testing is timely given that this is the week that NAPLAN testing is going on in Australia. Um, and so the question is how does planning for understanding using the Edutech planner relate to and, and perhaps assist with NAPLAN? On the surface it may not be surprising to hear that some teachers question using curriculum planning for understanding framework because they will say, well, NAPLAN tests don't use essential questions and they don't have authentic tasks for kids to do. NAPLAN is testing specific skills and content knowledge in a multiple choice or short answer format. So they may say this, this planning framework seems out of sync with these tests. Uh, my contention is not only is the unit planner the right way of planning, for the Australian curriculum and for NAPLAN, but it's the only way to ensure that test scores will continue to improve. And here's the underlying logic. If students understand the important ideas and processes being assessed and have opportunities to use their knowledge in meaningful ways, and in so doing, they'll acquire and, and develop their knowledge and skills, they will do very well on NAPLAN. The alternative is to do practice testing and multiple choice teaching, which in my experience not only won't raise test scores in the long run, it will turn off learners and the best teachers. To focus on NAPLAN test format as the means of improving performance on it mistakes the measures for the goals. The goals are learning the Australian curriculum well. NAPLAN tests elements of the Australian curriculum in a way that can be managed in a large scale. But to fix it on the format of NAPLAN is to do the equivalent of practicing for your physical exam in order to become healthy. It mistakes measures for goals. Now this is not to say let's just teach well and the NAPLAN test scores will take care of themselves. No, we're going to give kids practice and experience in the NAPLAN format. It's a genre that they need to be experienced with. But that's different than saying we're going to set up a NAPLAN test prep curriculum and if it's not tested by NAPLAN we're not going to teach it. That would be wrong. Our goal is the Australian curriculum, teaching it well, which means teaching for understanding, helping kids see relevance, authentic performance in the mix, and the knowledge and skills in the Australian curriculum will be better learned. One of the dirty little secrets of standardized testing, and we've seen this over the years in North America, and I predict it's applicable in Australia with NAPLAN, is that when you start doing item analyses on NAPLAN test results, you will most likely find what we found in North America. The most widely missed test items are not items of basic skills or factual knowledge. In fact, the most widely missed items require students to transfer their learning. In mass, they're given a word problem, and it typically involves two or three steps and some mathematical reasoning. Even if the answer format is multiple choice or selected response, it doesn't mean that it's a simple, low-level item. Similarly, in reading, items that are most widely missed involve student inferencing. They have to read a passage they've never seen before and read between the lines to find the implied or inferential meaning. And even though the format may be multiple choice, it's not a simple item. Point being, the most widely missed items require transfer. And transfer of learning demands understanding. Rote learning won't prepare you to transfer to new situations, new texts, new problems. And so the people that say we shouldn't be planning for understanding 
because NAPLAN doesn't test that way are mistaken. The best way of improving the scores is to teach for understanding, prepare kids for transfer, because that's what NAPLAN items, particularly the most challenging items, uh, demand. So what made you interested in working with Edutech and being the educational designer for the unit plan? I was attracted to Edutech and the unit planner for a couple of reasons. Uh, number one, it just makes sense to work smarter in our profession. And so having a way of capturing our ideas, our unit plans, our assessments, and our lessons uh, makes sense, and doing this electronically is the way to go. Secondly, modeling a planning process, which we call backward design, uh, can be done effectively by giving teachers helpful planning tools and the Edutech Planner embodies backward design planning process uh, in its software. Uh, thirdly, the capacity for teachers to share within a school and even across schools uh, is an enormous uh, benefit to hardworking teachers. It's a way of ensuring a higher quality curriculum and ultimately learning and the Edutech Planner has that capacity. Um, but perhaps most fundamentally, I was drawn to Edutech by its mission. It's a product, but the mission is not just sales. The mission is improving learning, improving teaching, and the planning thereof. And the planner has the capacity to accomplish those ends. So I want to work with a planner that models good practice, supports more engaging, relevant teaching, and ultimately can improve learning and help educators work smarter toward that end.